Thanks for joining us. Imagine starring in your own TV show as a teenager and having a pop princess for a big sister. Jamie Lynn Spears says all the chaos and trauma of growing up Spears is something she long suppressed. It took a near fatal tragedy for her to confront some painful truths. I sat down with Jamie Lynn for a wide ranging exclusive TV interview on everything from Britney's conservatorship, her own mental health struggles to how Jamie Lynn found her voice. Why do you think it makes you emotional still all these years later? I just like thank God that I like, you know, I like thank God I stood up for myself and like said exactly what I wanted. Jamie Lynn Spears remembers being pregnant at 16 and feeling utterly isolated, a scandalized teenage TV star. Everyone of course initially was completely shocked and they're like, this is a baby having a baby. And in those moments, I just felt really alone. Jamie, this way! Spears says she grew up pretending that everything was perfect, even when it wasn't, as her family often focused instead on her world-famous sister Brittany's turbulent life. You wrote, and I'm going to quote you, the entire Spears team was already caught up in my sister's PR difficulties, and everyone around me just wanted to make the issue disappear. Yeah, I think that the easy thing for possibly then would have been like let's just get this over with and like you go back to being the perfect little sister because that's your role I know you see me standing as her sister's career reached the highest heights jamie lynn had forged her own path to stardom on nickelodeon as the feisty lead in zoe 101. so do i get to hear this song before you guys put it in the time capsule I feel like Zoe was what I always wanted to be. I was just like every other teenager, very insecure about a lot of things about myself, but also um, trying to pretend like I was perfect, I guess. But not everything was perfect. Behind the glitz and the glamour was profound anxiety, grappling with the pressures of fame and a chaotic family. I've never shared anything. Now 30, the married mother of two daughters says she's breaking the cycle by breaking her silence about her childhood traumas, her struggles with mental health, and the pressures of growing up Spears. In her new book, Things I Should Have Said. It was really important to me to, first off, honor my voice. I have to do it, or how else can I expect my daughters to stand up for themselves? Do you worry that by speaking your truth, that it will harm your relationships? Well, nobody ever really considered me, but <laughs> I think that Everyone is allowed to say their truth. When news of her pregnancy broke in 2007, it created a media feeding frenzy. Jamie Lynn facing the same heated circus that followed her famous sister Britney's every move. Why are you here other than to shame me and to benefit off of a young girl who's going through something already so traumatic and so deep and personal, but now you're going to put me on a magazine cover and call me a slut for it? It just really... It's so unacceptable. We say we do better, but now we just go into the comments on Instagram and do it. Jamie Lynn claims her family and management team sent her away to a remote cabin somewhere in the snowy Northeast to avoid the media. No phone, no contact with the outside world for weeks. What was I gonna do? I was a kid and maybe this isn't my best interest and maybe this is what I'm supposed to do because of course I don't wanna be, you know, hounded by the paparazzi, but it felt like I was really being alienated. Jamie Lynn also says that her family life had long been plagued by her father's past drinking. According to the New York Times, court papers show he attended rehab for alcoholism in 2004. He wrote in the book, he spent most of my life in that cycle of ruinous behavior. His bouts of drinking always caused me periods of torment and sorrow. It was um, created a lot of anxiety of the not knowing what I was going to get and also feeling like I didn't have anybody there to to just cut it out until it could be consistent. But while Jamie Lim was grappling with the fallout over pregnancy, her sister was struggling. A bitter divorce and Brittany would recently lost custody of her two young sons. Trapped by the relentless flash of cameras, she shaved her own head and what seemed to be a mental breakdown coming to a head in a 2007 confrontation with paparazzi. Jamie Lynn says over the years, she'd already noticed Brittany's behavior begin to change. In the book, you describe an incident where Brittany takes a knife, it says she's scared, and locks you and herself into a room. Why did you want to include that in the book? 
Because first off, I think that experiencing my own panic attacks and how sometimes we can um, feel in those moments is important, but also it's important to remember that I was a kid in that moment, I was scared. That was an experience I had, but I also was fearful to like really say anything because I didn't want to upset anybody, but I also was so upset that she didn't feel safe. Words that you've used in the book to describe her behavior over the, your lifetime was erratic, paranoid, spiraling. How do you see your sister's state of mind currently? I can't really speak to anyone else's state of mind. I don't think that's fair. But I'm allowed to say how I felt in those because that matters. It matters that I was in pain. It matters. It doesn't matter where they came from. In 2008, after two hospitalizations, the court gave their father, Jamie Spears, legal control over Britney's personal, professional, and financial affairs. The conservatorship was initially seen by some as a stabilizing force in her life. Britney released four albums and performed nearly 250 shows in her Las Vegas residency. While dad Jamie was conservator, Jamie Lynn says father and daughter tried to stay sober together. You describe the fact that your father in the conservatorship was taking sobriety tests alongside Britney as part of that. I just probably selfishly looked at it as like, I don't, everybody's sober right now. Like, I don't have to be anxious for the first time, you know? Like, there's actual people making sure they're, everybody's on the right track, and I didn't have to worry what I was walking into. How would you describe your relationship with him now? It's a real time, real life. Like, it's messy, and I'm working through it. I have good days and bad days, and I think the relationship stands is that he's still my father, and I have to, I have to acknowledge that in a responsible way. Last summer, at the height of the Free Britney movement, Britney spoke out in court against the conservatorship, calling it abusive and overly controlling. The pop star saying she wanted to sue her family, lashing out at her father in particular, saying he should be put in jail. Jamie Spears and his attorneys have consistently claimed that everything was done under the authority of the conservatorship and with Britney's best interests in mind. Do you agree with her assessment that your father was out of line? Honestly, I just believe that if my sister wanted to be out of the conservatorship, then there should, you know, that conversation should be had and she should be able to facilitate that. Britney's conservatorship lasted for 13 years before it was officially terminated by a judge in November. What was your reaction when the conservatorship was dissolved? When it was dissolved, I mean, I was happy. I think that for me, if that's what makes Brittany and everyone else happy, that's what should happen. And that's, that's all it is. It, it has so very little to actually do with me except for the well-being of my family members. Jamie Lynn saying for the first time that she even tried to give Brittany the resources she needed to end the conservatorship. I've always been my sister's biggest supporter. So when she needed help, I set up ways to do so. Went out of my way to make sure that she had the contacts she needed to possibly go ahead and end this conservatorship. But how many times can I take the steps without, um, you know, she has to walk through the door. There's been speculation of a rift. Many of Britney's fans attacking Jamie Lynn online, noting that Britney unfollowed her on Instagram. Britney also posting last July about her sister's tribute performance at the 2017 Radio Disney Awards, writing, I don't like that my sister showed up at an awards show and performed my songs to remixes. My so-called support system hurt me deeply. Honestly, it was somewhat confusing to me about that, and I actually have spoke to her about that. And I was doing a tribute to honor my sister and all the amazing things that she's done. But you've cleared that up with her? I have cleared up with the fact that I don't think she's personally upset with me about that. Jamie Lynn says their relationship came to a head during the pandemic. She writes that Brittany came at me screaming and getting up in my face while she was holding her toddler Ivy in her arms. 
she cursed at me. And so I just walked out of the room. I was like, uh, we're just all family under one roof. Like, I'm not trying to argue. And when I tried to remove myself from the situation, that's uh, when I guess she just got really angry. And my oldest daughter tried to, you know, mediate the situation. I hated that. Like, that's not what you're supposed to do. You're 12. But rather than respect everyone's wishes, Jamie Lynn says her family was reverting to unhealthy patterns. Her parents' response? They told me that I shouldn't be upset. Like, I can't upset Brittany. I said, you just saw me and my children be upset. When will I matter? Despite their complicated relationship, Jamie Lynn says while the world idolized her big sister, Brittany, who's 10 years older, was like a second mother to her. So I feel like I like that. She was like, like I love her that much and to have, you know, it's just so innocent to love your siblings and especially me because I loved her like she was my mama, you know? What happened to that love? Um, what has caused this rift between you? That love is still there, 100%. Um, I love, I love my sister. I only, I've only ever loved and supported her and done what's right by her, and she knows that. So I don't know why we're in this position right now. ABC News reached out to Britney Spears and her father, Jamie, for comment. They did not respond. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.